they literally lost their most their not only their best player but i would argue arguably the best player in the world o FNS colocou a Loud abaixo de diversos times do VST. O Niang reagiu a isso e deu a sua opinião. Já pensou em ter acesso a diversos cursos feitos por pessoas que manjam do jogo? A Neverest tem cursos produzidos por grandes personalidades do cenário especialmente para você. Além de aulas específicas para cada agente. Para você aprender tudo sobre o seu main em todos os mapas, tanto no ataque quanto na defesa. E ainda tem uma ferramenta que mostra pixels do seu agente favorito em todos os mapas, de maneira bastante simplificada. E você também tem direito a uma análise de pobre mensal feita por um coach profissional para ver se você aprendeu tudo certinho. Tudo isso e muito mais você encontra na Neveras. Usando o cupom SMOKEMID15 você tem 15% de desconto. O link vai estar aqui na descrição. Fala galera, tudo bem com vocês? Recentemente o FNS fez um tier list com todos os times que disputarão os VCTs em 2024. E esse tier list tem dado o que falar, inclusive sendo colocado lá na gringa como o tier list mais controverso sobre o VCT. Nesse tier list a FNS colocou a Loud no tier B e atribuiu essa colocação com a perda do Aspas. Inclusive comparou essa saída do Aspas com a saída do EA do time da Optic. Loud, lock in top 2, VCT 1 champions 3 tier B. Dude, they literally lost... They're most, they're not only their best player, but I would argue, arguably the best player in the world. So that's why it's hard for me to just, it just depends on who replaced him and how good that guy is. But I really don't think they can beat Fnatic or Energy. Less had more impact this past season, dude. Oh my God, that's like, okay, I'll go back to the Optic lineup, right? Like Ye was an outstanding player for that Optic team. And yet... People still give stupid amounts of credit to Marv, to Crashies. Would you say Marv and Crashies had more impact than than Yay? Pois é, e quem reagiu e opinou sobre esse tier list foi o Niang, saca só? Based off what my assumptions are, and these assumptions are completely based off some off-season play, and no, like, I don't know how scrims are going for these teams, like, I have no clue, okay? Just a little disclaimer for you guys. So, energy, I'm just gonna keep them here for now. Realistically, I mean, every single player on this team has, is pretty high-skilled, has a ton of experience. Pode fazer quando quiser, has, uh, Valeu, Zidane, obrigado pelos três meses, so, mano. Obvious. S tier. This team is basically built to win if they lose. Pretty tough overall. And then, so these three teams have actually shown a lot of promise throughout the off season. Actually, these two teams and then Cloud9. These three teams have shown a lot of promise during the off season. Com yeah. joined Lev, right? So I put 100 Thieves at B only because <laughs> it's just such a hit or miss in my opinion. I have no idea how they're gonna perform. Crew, I'm gonna put a little bit behind. These three teams, I just don't know enough about. These three teams can get wins, but it's gonna be scrappy wins. E G, man, I have to put them down here as well. These two are just so such big question marks. Cloud9, Loud seem more reliable to me. Loud just because their longevity and they they've kept their IGL. They play the game well overall. Just losing Aspas is a big thing, so just not sure about that. Okay, I have to remove one more team here out of these top three, and I think I'm gonna remove Lev. Nah, I'm, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna remove Okay, this is my honest opinion. Energy Lev are, seem the most stable in terms of just on paper. They also just have a stupid amount of talent on both lineups. So it's impossible for me not to put these two in the S tier. G2 would also be right here for me. Because again, it's a hit or miss for all three of these teams. All have good players. All have good chemistry, I would assume. G2 having the most chemistry. But I still think the talent on the S tier and the A tier lineups is superior. Do all the teams that you know. Okay, Fnatic has to go up here for obvious reasons. All the teams that I know that I have to put loud at here. I'd have to put C9 here as well. Oh yeah, Liquid has that new line. Up. Low key, I have very little faith. I'm sorry. I'm putting liquid at right. We'll change this around in a second. DRX. Again, I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's just an opinion, man. Foot here. Okay, here's how I'll explain my tier list, okay? These teams can beat these teams. These teams can beat these teams, but I don't think these teams can ever beat these teams. These three teams, in my opinion, just have more complete lineups. Finesse, cara, tá maluco, mano. Paper Rex could end up there, and Sentinels could end up there, which is why they're A tier. I don't think anyone else can beat Fnatic, Lev, or NRG. These teams maybe, but I still think the A tier teams, so Sentinels, Navi, Paper Rex, and Lev, all clear these rosters. Loud literally beat Fnatic, bro. They legit lost their best player. I can't rank them super high off of that. I'm like, I'm trying to live in the present, not the past. Yeah, energy without SOM might be D tier. Is there like a lower tier than D? You're underestimating Love. Do you really think so? I might be overestimating Sentinels, but I don't think I'm underestimating Love. This 
is my biggest question mark because I don't know for sure. And the não, only pelo amor de Deus, mano, como que ele tem coragem de gostar da Navi ainda, cara? Is either C9 or Loud. Navi, in my opinion, is going to be solid um pouco, throughout mano. the year. Artist is very comfortable on that team overall. They are back to their old lineup. They have as much, if not more, chemistry than everyone here. They went back to their original lineup. This is like if we went back to old Optic, which I would have a lot of faith in. I've been Cala randomly boca. looking at NRG's scrims. And if, <laughs> if we're basing this off scrims, ah, não, I would find it entirely... I, I would put sorte, energy cara. down here, right there. Uh, yes, you would have it. I would put energy right here. Diferentes... Um, um cara matando muito e às vezes o Angel fazendo a jogada de maluco funcionando, pô. Sometimes I look, I'm like, wait, what is happening? And then I'll look who's on the other side and I've never seen these names before. This is just based off Sentinels playing really, really well in these tournaments. Very high level play. Energy, Lev or Sentinels? One of these three teams is gonna f*** up and I don't know which one it's gonna be. Tá, one isso aqui é verdade, ó. Teams, very high level play. Energy, Lev or Sentinels? One of these three teams. Isso é verdade. Isso é verdade. Is gonna f*** up and I don't know which one it's gonna be. Running the small. É verdade. Mas mano, isso daqui é, é brincadeira, cara. O um desses três times aqui ou vai ser muito absurdo ou vai ser ou vai assim, tipo, tá tudo errado. Sentinels, Leviathan E quem que falou aqui? Energy, Lev or Sentinels? NRG, NRG, Leviathan ou Sentinels? Agora essa tier list aqui, eu tiraria a Navi de tier A, eu colocaria a Navi em tier B, eu subiria a Loud por enquanto, a Loud para mim nessa li tier list grande aqui é NRG junto com a com a com a Fnatic por enquanto. Loud tierá e a Loud pode virar tier S. A Leviathan, para mim é assim, são três times que podem, três times do Américas que podem ser tier S. De qualquer outra região não tem nenhum tier S. Ou, talvez a Paper X, mas ainda assim não acho que é S, eu acho que a Feneric é S. Feneric é S, Paper X, Leviathan, NRG e Loud no A. Sentinels no A pro B, tipo assim, já caindo. Todos esses daqui eu colocaria tipo no B já pro C, já caindo mais. E aí eu, eu baixaria esse daqui ainda pra baixo ainda. Eu baixaria essa linha do C aqui toda inteira pra baixo ainda. E colocaria vai, mais outros aqui. Menos a DRX. DRX não tem que estar tá no C. O Niang também fez seu próprio tier list que ficou dessa maneira que vocês estão vendo. Mas e aí, qual a sua opinião sobre tudo isso? Deixe nos comentários, deixe também aquele like, se inscreve aqui no canal para não perder nada. Aquele abraço e até o próximo vídeo.